welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to create puffer jacket and quilting. Puffer jacket is one of the popular styles to wear in the winter season. It's lightweight and will keep you warm with the insulation. To create puffer style in Clo 3D is actually pretty easy. Another great tool for beginners to use on your designs. Here is a basic jacket pattern, let's turn it into a puffer style. To make puffer jacket in Clo 3D, it's pretty much the same like how you will do when making an actual puffer jacket sample. You need to have a top and bottom layers, stitch them together and put in filler for insulation. For this jacket pattern, I need to create internal lines first. These lines will be used as quilting lines. To get even divided internal lines, I will use edit pattern tool to select the bottom hem line from the pattern. Right click and choose offset as internal lines. Enter the distance between each line and the offset numbers then click OK. I will create horizontal internal lines on front and back bodice and sleeves. For side front and side back panels, I prefer to have vertical lines. Hold shift and select two sides of the pattern outline, then right click. Choose distribute internal line between segment. Enter the number offsets you want to create and click OK. Once you are done with all the internal lines, go to 2D window toolbar and find fill. Fill tool was introduced on Clo 3D in 2022 when it updated to a newer version. To use this function, click on it. Then go to 2D window, select the pattern pieces you want to create puffer style. Once you click the pieces, you can see the pattern turns into purple color. It will duplicate a new layer. Click anywhere in 2D window to place the new layer. Once you place the new layer, go to property editor. And you will see filler options appear in the window. There are four choices fillers, between duck and goose with two different mix of down and feather. You can play with it and see which one works the best with your design. Once you decide the type, next is to enter weight. The number you enter will be distributed evenly to the pattern piece you select. For example, if you only select one front bodice pattern, and you enter 150 gram, it will be distributed throughout the whole front bodice. If you select both left and front bodice patterns together, then you will have to enter 300 gram and not 150. Otherwise the 150 gram filler will be distributed between left and right front patterns. In quilting distance, you just enter the longest length of the distance between each internal line. My internal lines are 3 inches apart, so I will enter 3. Click simulate, and you will see the puffer effect on the garment. Now I will repeat the same process to finish the rest of the jacket patterns. If you don't see much difference when you simulate the garment, you can lower the particle distance to 10 or less to see a better result. Also, lighter weight and stretch fabrics will show more puffer effect than heavier weight material. You might have to adjust the weight of the filler depending on what type of fabric you are using. Try different weight and filler type to see what looks the best. And you will be able to create a perfect puffer style design in Clo 3D. The next style I would like to show you is quilting. It's kinda similar to puffer style, however. Instead of putting filler, quilting is using batting material in between the two layers. To get the quilting look in Clo 3D. If your internal lines are created between pattern outlines, you can still use the fill tool to achieve the quilting look. Here is a long sleeve sweatshirt pattern I got. Let me add a few irregular internal shapes inside front bodice pattern. You can see, none of the internal lines are touching the pattern outlines. In this case, fill is not going to work. 
because I won't be able to enter the quilting distance, and it can't distribute filler weight to the pattern piece. So instead of using fill, I will have to use pressure. Pressure was the original way in Clo 3D to create puffer effect before the fill tool came out. To use it, first of all, right click on the piece I want to create quilting using transform pattern tool. Select layer clone under to generate the bottom layer. Then, select top layer and go to property editor. Under simulation properties, you will see pressure. Click on the triangle to enter an amount. If you're not sure what pressure amount you want to put, start from a lower number first, simulate to see how much the fabric will rise up. For this sweatshirt, I will usually enter 10 or 15. Next step. Select the bottom layer. And go back to pressure in property editor. And this time we need to type negative amount. When you use pressure, imagine it's like putting air in between the two layers of fabrics. If both layers have positive numbers, it will make the garment float. That's why you have to put negative number on the bottom layer to stabilize it. Click simulate to check the result. You can adjust the pressure number until you are happy with the look. Lower the particle distance first before you increase the pressure too much. Sometimes you won't see much difference during simulation until you lower the particle distance number. And there. Now you know how to create a quilting design. So far, the two examples I have shown you were all having the effect on the entire pattern piece. What if you only want to make the puffer and quilting looking in specific areas on the garment? Here are two ways you can do. First one is. Creating separated layers. Here is a t-shirt pattern and I have added Kev in design initial letters as internal lines in the back of the t-shirt. Use transform pattern tool to select the internal shapes and right click. Choose clone as pattern to generate patterns. Make sure all your internal shape are complete closed, and all the points are connected. If for some reason you can't clone as pattern, don't worry. You can still use Trace tool, hold Shift and select all the segments then right click. Choose Trace as Pattern. This will do the trick as well. Use Free Sewing tool to attach these pieces onto the back bodice. Once you are done sewing, select all the pieces. In 3D window, right-click on these selected pieces and choose Superimpose Over. It will automatically place them on the back bodice in 3D window. Click Simulate and see if there's any collision. If there's no issues, go back to 2D window, select all the new generated patterns, right-click and choose Layer Clone Over. This will add a new layer on top of the original pieces including sewing. Simulate in 3D window and make sure they look ok. Go back to 2D window and select the top layers which would be the ones you clone layer over. Go to property editor, enter positive amount in pressure. Select your original pieces which will become the bottom layer. Go to property editor, enter negative amount in pressure. Click simulate and check. Because these pieces are pretty small. Ideally you should lower particle distance first before you simulate. And you will be able to see the quilting look. The second way you can do is to make the internal shapes as cut out pieces. I used the same t-shirt pattern and created a simple flower shape in the back. Use edit pattern tool to select the entire flower shape. Right click and choose cut and sew. This will separate the pieces from the back bodice. Move them to the side. And use transform pattern tool, right click and select layer clone under. Select top layer and enter positive pressure amount in property editor. Then select bottom layer and enter negative pressure amount in property editor. 
lower particle distance and simulate it. Check and see if you need to adjust the pressure amount. By the way, the cutout method will work better when you have a simple silhouette. If it's complicated, it's probably better to just add separated layers. So, that's all you need to know about using fill and pressure to create puffer jacket and quilting look. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Please leave your comments. And don't forget to click like and subscribe.